Hi, this is Simon Leung with GrooveFunnels.com. Welcome to Groove Collapse, where we collaborate with you, our fellow Groovesters. To volunteer your content, check the link in this video description for your invitation. Today, let's welcome Nicholas McIntosh from Brisbane, Queensland in Australia, who is a technical and site building whiz. And today, he will be sharing with us his very first video in a series of tutorials, all on the topic of building a simple site with Groove Pages. So without further ado, here's Nicholas. Thanks, Simon. So let's jump straight into it. What we're going to do in this video is show you how to build out an affiliate site, a very quick and simple affiliate site, but an affiliate site nonetheless. So to get started, we're going to go up to apps here. And from apps, we're going to click on Groove Pages. Now, if it's your first time coming in to the Groove Pages app, when you get in here, this section here that you're looking at at the moment will be blank. But once you've created a site, then it will show up in this section and this is where you'll be able to come back to that website later on and make more updates but for the purpose of this video we're going to create a new site so in the top right hand corner here i'm going to click on new site and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to look for a template that we can use that's very very basic to get started so i'm just going to look at this vsl template down here now if you want to preview a template, you can click on the preview button first. So let's just do that to have a look at this particular template. And what that does is it opens up in another tab and shows you what this template is going to look like. Now you can see there's a bunch of different sections on this template. We're not going to use them all and we don't need them all, but that's fine. This will give us a basic start on what we want. So I'm going to close that elf. I'm going to come back to the template and this time I'm going to click on select. Now, I want to give it a name. Now, it's a good idea if you've got a domain name, and we'll talk about domains later, but if you have a domain name, you probably want to name it after the domain name. If you don't have a domain name, no worries. We'll uh, show you how to publish it with whether you have one or not. So in this case, I'm just going to call this uh, affiliate site. Okay, and once I've typed that in, I'm going to click start building. Now, this will take a up to a minute maybe less than that generally to go through and pull the template into what we call the actual builder where we can build out our website now the first thing you'll notice is up the top here is that we only have one option selected we have several options up here for different device types and if i click on each one of these you'll see what the website's going to look like in these different device types so i'm going to go back to the first one the first thing I'm going to do here then is just to scroll down through this page and look at all the different sections that are on this page and have a look at what I want and what I don't want. So I'm going to get rid of everything below this block here that talks about as seen on Forbes, Entrepreneur, Fox and the BBC. So I'm going to click on this block and if you have a look down the bottom here, it'll tell you that you're on a block and there'll be a button here to delete this entire block. So I'm going to click on delete. And confirm that then I'm going to do the same thing again so the quickest way to select an entire block is just to click up in the left hand corner here just check down the bottom again that it says block and then go back to the top and click on delete and confirm it all right I'm going to do the same with the very bottom I don't want the footer in this case so I'm going to get rid of it so that's all I want this is all I want for my affiliate site the next thing we're going to do is go back to the top of the page and we're going to start changing the details so we can just click in an area here and then start typing in what we want to replace the text that's in a particular area so let's just go through and replace the two lots of text here okay so we've changed the text out there the next thing i want to do is you can see here there is a video now if i click on this video then on the right hand side over here you'll see this an area that says configure and if i go into the configure section it'll tell me what type of video this is in this case it's a youtube video so i can replace this video with a video that's provided by groove to help us promote groove itself so to do that what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over to a different tab and i'm going to go to groovejv.com i'm going to scroll down here and you'll see down here there's a section called promotion tools now as long as you're logged into your groove account when you get to this section it should have your name here 
and then there will be a bunch of links here for different types of promotion tools you can use so I'm going to click on video reviews here and then you'll see that there are a couple of different videos here so there's the Groove Funnels review the Groove Pages SEO review video and then the Groove Funnels top 10 reasons video now you could choose any one of these you like that's fine I'm just going to go back to the first one and what I want is just this little bit of text here after the V. So V equals and then this bit of text. I'm going to highlight it, right click and copy it. I'm going to go back to Groove Pages here. And in the YouTube ID, I'm going to replace the ID with the one I just copied. I'm going to paste that in there. And then I'm going to move my mouse a couple of times and then click on Update. And that should update it to that video. Okay, beautiful, fantastic. Now, the next thing I want to do is just scroll down the page a bit. I'm going to come down to where it says join the free training or you might want to change this to find out more or whatever you like. So to change the text on a button, click on the button. Again, come up to configure. And in this section here where it says text is where we can change the text over. Okay, so I've changed the text over. The next thing I want to do is where it says link to here, I want to change this from block to URL. And then I need to go back to the Groove JV account we were at before. Click on this Back to Promotions Tools link. Come into Links this time. What I want to do is choose one of these links. Now, there's a couple of different links here. If you want them to upgrade immediately, you'd send them to the Upgrade link. But in this case, since we're offering them a free account, there's two links you could use. You could use the free and lifetime description link or you could use the webinar link where they'd be taken to a page to go through the process of signing up for a webinar to learn more about Groove but in this case I'm just going to use the free and lifetime link so I'm going to highlight it and I can just click over here that'll copy it to my desktop there for me back to Groove pages click in the URL box and paste it in and again I'm just going to move my mouse a couple of times so the update button shows pink. There we go. And then I can click on update and update that. Okay, that's it. The next thing we're going to do is click on save. And we'll save it. And then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go through these buttons up the top. So I'm going to start with the mobile device and I'm going to make sure just the mobile device is selected on its own. And what I'm going to do here is then click on each section of the text. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. Okay, it's like this, beautiful. Grab your free account button. Go back over to text on the right here and we'll make that a little bit smaller. And that's fine. Then I'm going to go to the next device. Okay. So I'm just on the next device. And just check check it again. Make sure it looks okay. That one looks okay. That one looks okay. Excellent. That one looks fine. And then on the back to the desktop. So I might want to make this text a little bit bigger on the desktop. There we go. And then save. Now, if we do it this way, as we're changing text, especially the size of text and the color of text, because you can change the color just here. If you start with the mobile and work back up, it's easier. So when I come back to this mobile device, if you have a look at the grab your free copy of that I've got selected here, you'll see here that the text is set to 1.25 rem. If I go over to the desktop again, you'll see it's set to 1.5. So it's locked it in perfectly. Excellent. That's it. And that's our page done. So the next thing we want to do is look at publish. So if we come over here, I'm going to close this box out here. And I'm going to come in and save it again just to make sure it's saved. Come into Publish. Then you've got two choices. You can give it a name here and Groove will actually host the website for you. Or if you have a domain name, you can put your domain name in here and then you'll need to follow through on the Publish settings to publish it to your domain. But we'll show you that in another video. For this case, what we're going to do is we're just going to give this a name so that we can publish the site. So we're going to put in a name. I've got one already. I'm just going to paste it in here. And you'll notice that there are no spaces in this name. That's critical, okay? The next thing I want to do is make sure I tick this box here that says host your site with us. And then come down to publish and click on publish. 
We give it a minute or so and we'll get a little box down the bottom here that says changes usually go live within a few minutes but may take longer. So the site publish is in progress. All right, once that's done, you'll see that the link up here is then active. So if I just right click on this and then I open this in a new incognito window or a new tab. Anyway, let's just do this. Open it in a new tab and we'll see what our page looks like. And there we go our page is live now the only other thing you'll want to do here is just check when you highlight over a link down the bottom right hand corner here or left hand corner here sorry you'll see where that link goes to let's check the video to make sure it plays beautiful video works fine so our page is working perfectly now if i just close that off and go back to groove pages the last thing we want to do here is come into pages on the left hand side here come into this little area where it says VSL because that was the name of the template we chose. I'm going to click on these little ellipses here to get the drop down. Come into edit settings and I want to change the page name. All right, and, and the title and we want to put in some meta keywords, meta description and some other details to help us with SEO. But we'll talk a little bit more about that in the next video. The other thing you want to look at too is an OG image. And again, we will talk about that in the next video. So until next time, thanks for watching and get started on your build.